for Christians, the prophecy of Isaiah that a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse is referring to Jesus of Nazareth. Jesse was the father of King David, and all the prophecies after King David always said that there will be a Messiah in the line of King David. So then Isaiah pictures this wonderful hope of our future, that this Messiah is going to restore in our lives, in our world, back to paradise, where the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the baby shall play by the cobra's den, and there shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. The hope of the future is a paradise of harmony among all creatures and all humanity, a paradise without violence, war, or hatred. So what Advent is doing for us and with these readings is trying to stoke a fire of hope for our present world. The Messiah has come. The Son of God has become a human being. Jesus the Christ is with us, and he remains with us until the end of time. But obviously, Christ's redemptive work to restore us to paradise does not happen with a snap of a finger. Natural disasters, terrorist attacks, an endless war reminds us that we are far from paradise. Close to home, the senseless, horrific, evil murder of Jessica Weissar stuns her family, friends, and co-workers to the core. Someone from outside of our communities has poisoned us with one of the most evil acts possible. This has not happened for a reason. It is senseless. It is an evil act per perpetrated on another human being with ramifications beyond imagining. It will be hard for her family, her friends and co-workers to regain hope. You and I have to do it for them. We have to stand in for them during this horrific time that they are challenged with. Even if we don't know them, this evil in our midst calls for us to open every pore of our heart and mind and body to the power of the Holy Spirit and to allow the power of God to work through us to do good, to work for strong communities and schools, to develop respect for every human being, strive to protect human life from conception until a natural death, and to take care of the earth so that it is here for generations to come. Christ works with us and through us in this redemptive work. Our Advent hope is that we allow Christ to come to and be the center and the power of our lives more this year than last year. This is serious business. John the Baptist was a serious man with a serious mission, asking people to change their lives for the better, to let go of sin, and not only that, but to get focused on the right things and not get wrapped up in things that don't matter that much or are, are not that important. In all of that, in all of this serious matter, we still have this truth. We do have a taste of paradise. It is happening. Our relationship with Christ and through Christ with one another is a taste of paradise. The strength of our relationship with Christ and through him with one another is where change for the good happens. That's why the relationship with Christ and with one another is so important. The church community, the faith community is so important for the work of good. We don't do it alone. We need Christ and we need one another. The strength of our relationship with Christ and one another can be for people like the Weissars or others who suffer a place of solace, comfort, and hope. Our actions for harmony with one another, for justice, caring for others, and for peace can be a beacon of hope for those who struggle. So many of our brothers and sisters need hope. So hopefully we can all say to our Lord, come Lord Jesus, take a hold of us.